Howdy, y'all. This might be a little bit strange and a little bit weird and all that other good stuff. I want to talk a little bit about timing and, and hopefully correct myself on a couple of songs because... I know that uh, I did sticks um, too much time on my hands and... I was doing all sorts of weird things and it, it didn't need to be as difficult as I was making it out to be. It really is just a because I thought of and this is just stupid and weird, but I thought about it <coughs> too much time on my hands. What's the song time talking about time? So <coughs> what would I want to kind of try and mimic um, with the sound if I was going to be making a song talking about time? clock so that's like I've been sitting on some cross to talk like a damn fool well fuck you blues I've given up old fucking dad soaps and a bottle of gold And it's just the, the timing thing, and it's for for singing. Now I'm starting to realize you know, what Stevie Ray Vaughan was talking about with uh, having to learn how to sing. Um, and it, it's 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 not just the 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 vocal up and downs and stuff. And I never realized that because I'm like, man, I could hit pretty much any note. That isn't it at all. I not even close. <laughs> And now I know why, you know, I'm from I'm, I'm from a place where uh, horror sign missed the hell out of you, out of you dude. And and, and I, I used to work with a guy who grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, we, we both understood the joke because it's an old joke from around the New York City area. And it's like, you know, you go, these tourists go to New York and they want to see all the sites and they're asking people directions for places and they're checking things off their list and they go and there, there's the next place they, they want to go to is Carnegie Hall. They stop somebody and say, hey, you, you know, the musician over there, the, the busker on the corner, he must know. Let's ask him. And, and so they go to the dude playing the music on the corner, busking for money over there. And say, hey, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? You must know. And he says, Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. And there was also another video I did on um, Wilson Pickett, and I could not get the rhythm. And I don't know why, but it's more like I needed the time away from the real world and stuff to be able to pick up on the real rhythms, like the music rhythms and stuff, which is just, you know, uh, you know. Got to know how to pony. it. Like going in the room, man. Got to do the what you say. Like a power to do the And all that for uh, to go a long way, because the, the one thing that I always loved about that song and, and how Wilson Pickett did that song was, was the and and uh, yeah, Jay Giles, Peter Wolf does an amazing version, a cover of this too. It's a Jay Giles band, but it's Peter Wolf. He, he's the, you know, the definitely the the driving force behind it but it's uh got no idea. feel good so far i said na 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 need somebody help me sing it one time i said na 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 I screwed that up. But I was playing it good before, but um, it's that whole thing that that you know the power of Elvis' voice is just so amazing. It's like, and it's like need somebody. It's like you can't, you cannot refuse that. Need somebody help me sing it one time. You know, yes, sir. And I just love, it. and it's the, the timing thing that I wanted to talk about because I, I, it's taken me a long time to even start getting it. And to me, this is just a start. And, and it's just that, that, um,
Getting in the tune, getting in the tune with the straight and narrow. The who again? Um, huh, I'm singing this note anyway. Uh, but uh, that's what I think I've been trying to do along this whole journey here with the cancer stuff and everything is get back into the the wave that I was always supposed to be on. It feels like I'm starting to get there, so you know it's it's kind of a good feeling. Um, getting rid of this cancer would be a better feeling, but um, we're, we're going to find out, I guess, on Friday. I get scans, and, they, and it's definitely not over from there because she just wants a progress report to see if the if what she's been doing has been working. So. <laughs> We're going to find out Friday. Anyways, uh, I hope you all is having a good day. I just wanted to talk about timing a little bit because I'm starting to get mine back. And, you know, the practice, practice, practice thing is is keep playing, man. Even if it sounds crappy to you, if you know what you want to play, keep keep doing it. That's what I keep doing. That's why, why I keep coming out here playing songs badly because eventually if I keep playing them long enough, I know that the micro adjustments that I keep making will start to sound better. So that's kind of a little bit of encouragement too. Please just keep playing. You'll get it, man. You'll eventually it'll come around. Some songs have taken me, well, Jesus, I couldn't remember the order of the chords for the song Melissa by the Allman Brothers for 30 years. Finally, one day it just came to me. And I don't know why. It was just time, the timing. Timing is everything. And uh, I, I, it feels like I'm getting mine back. So it's, it's a good feeling. And, and I, I hope you guys can get yours back. And please uh, comment, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I would like to give away a guitar um, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, that would be a great feeling as well. So uh, please do. And uh, have a great day. Always look up. Be there for you. Um, peace. I'll see you then.